Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the new horror movie called Crawl. And it centers around the idea of a giant hurricane hitting Florida and then alligators attacking the people that are trapped in a flooding house. So, kind of seems right up our avenue to try to talk about it. Now, we haven't seen the movie yet. It's not out yet. But we do want to try to uh, talk. That was my GoPro. We do want to talk about what we've seen so far based on the trailer. And one of the first things we saw in the trailer that kind of, well, caught our ear, if you will, is the alligators growling and making all these weird sounds that I have never heard in my life come from an alligator. No, and honestly, some of the noises sound like the movie Godzilla, where they have them like just roaring, and that is like not what alligators do at all. Now, another idea there that I see in a lot of different movies, whether it's alligators, dinosaurs, whatever monster, they'll have the animal where it'll roar or growl before it attacks its prey. This is not reality. No predator ever announces its presence before trying to attack its prey. If you watch a lion, any video of a lion roaring, it's roaring defensively or for a territorial reason. But no lion is stalking a gazelle and then screams, hey, look at me so you can run away, and then tries to attack it. That is not how these things work. Same with the alligator. If you are actually attacked by some sort of predatory animal, chances are you won't know that predatory animal even existed until it has a hold of you. They all rely on the element of surprise and ambush. Now, another thing that they do, which they kind of got right, they make the alligator's eyes glow like this bright yellow color. So alligator eyes will glow at night. They have something called a tapetum lucidum, which is basically uh, kind of like a, a reflective little, cell membrane yeah. in the back of the eye. It just helps them basically have night vision. And a lot of animals have that. Cats have it. I think a lot of big cats have it. Um, so that basically gives them night vision. So what they have in the trailer, though, at like every single scene is the eyes glowing. And this would only happen if you had a flashlight and you were shining the light in their eyes. And you're holding the light up near your eye. It's like the tapetum lucidum acts like a basically reflective cell membrane in the back of the eye, kind of like a mirror. So in order to see the light shine back, you have to have it coming at the right angle from your eye to hit it and then shine back. So if I'm holding the flashlight down here, I'm not going to see the eye shine. I have to hold it up like this, and that's how you actually spot the eye shine on them. Let's so see. what else? There's there's like so much. Oh, uh, a really, really big thing that they keep doing. When they have the alligators like submerging underwater and like chasing people, they have the alligator go like this and then like dip down like you would see like a mermaid do. And like yeah. you see the tail and that's just not how alligators work at all. Yeah, if an alligator goes to submerge, again, we're relying on ambush when they are actually submerging down. Typically, they'll just slowly sink backwards and barely even make a ripple. I mean, these guys are built for ambush. That's what they do very well. So they're definitely not doing this funny looking duck dive to get down. <laughs> and the other thing too, speaking of how they are under the water, you'll also see in the trailer alligators chasing people mouth open underwater like this. Now, that is something I have never, ever, ever seen in my life. I think I've spent more time underwater than just about anybody on the planet with alligators. I literally run an underwater alligator tour. Uh, they don't do that. That's not something that they do. Now, can they bite underwater? Absolutely. That's a common myth you hear people say, oh, they can't bite underwater. That is false. They absolutely can bite underneath the water. They can't swallow underneath the water, though. They do come up the surface to swallow. I think that's where that myth originates from. But either way, they do not swim and pursue after prey underwater like this. That's just not something that they do. Yeah, a lot of people don't know, but when alligators are chasing prey underwater, they'll have their mouth cracked open probably like this much. It's not a whole lot. If they were to chase something underwater with their mouth wide open, they would literally drown. Do you want to talk about the glottis? Yeah, so when you look at the throat of an alligator, in the back of the throat, they have a, uh, what's called a palatal valve or the epiglottis or glottis in the back. It's a muscular palatal valve, and that is what seals their throat off. That way they can bite underwater and they won't drown. Now, if you were swimming forward as fast as an alligator can swim, I doubt that that muscular valve would be enough to stop the water from forcing itself down its throat because they can swim very quickly. Now, let's say that it could. Okay, let, let's just go ahead and say, oh, it does. Okay, well, let's say it does. Even so, mouth open means that that is a huge amount of water being caught in the mouth as it's going forward. That's going to slow it down. It's not going to be able to get very far at all, or at least not with any speed, with the mouth cranked wide open, catching all that water and slowing it down. So again, when they do move quickly, they usually have their mouth cracked open, ready to bite at something. But even so, when they hunt underneath the water, what they usually do 
is they wait for something to be like this, very, very close, and then they go to snap at it. And even when I see them trying to catch fish, it's usually just a quick movement like this or like this, but it's not a forward movement. They're not very good at that. Again, a forward movement with the mouth open is just going to catch all that water and slow them down. Yeah. Now, the movie also has the alligators chasing and trying to attack people underwater. I'm not going to say that that doesn't happen, but most people that get bitten underwater, like on their feet and their legs, they usually drift into the alligator. Alligators usually attack people at the surface because they just see your head. And alligators are ambush predators. Their eyes are on the top of their head. When they're hunting, the eyes really are the only thing above the water. They're only seeing your head, so they're going after your head. But I'm going to say alligators, they don't really go after your feet like that. No. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just not how they act. That's just not what they do. Now, on that note, talking about alligators actually attacking people, almost every alligator attack that does happen is either because that animal's fed, that's the number one reason people get bit by alligators, because people are feeding that alligator, this is why it's against the law to feed them in the wild, or because they were swimming in habitat with the animal. And like she just said, when you're swimming in their habitat, they only see the top of your head, you look like small prey, they'll act on that. If you could magically stand up, most of them would just back off, they want nothing to do with you. Uh, what else? There was, there was so oh. much. Well, on the idea of alligator attacks, how likely is it for you to be attacked by an alligator? One of my favorite statistics to quote is that more people are killed by vending machines than by alligators. You can Google this. More people get angry they can't get a candy bar. Shake the machine. It falls and crushes them more often being attacked by one of these things, which really says everything you need to know about both species. <laughs> But alligator attacks are extremely rare, with some estimates thinking there may be around 2 million gators in the state of Florida. If they actually wanted to eat people, you'd have people dying every day. Instead, we, have, we might have one fatality every several years. I mean, in the last 10 years, I think there's been, I want to say, two or three. We'll fact check that. Yeah. Uh, they also, in the trailer at least, have these alligators busting through it looks like windows with their mouths open like they're using their mouth to try to break it open so alligators have a blind spot right in front of their nose they don't even understand that something's in front of them you'll see them bumping into things and a lot of the alligators from my experience don't understand the concept of glass yeah. they keep bumping into it and they don't understand why they can't get through so it doesn't make sense for an alligator to try to break through the glass using its open mouth when it can't even see. That just doesn't make sense. Um, and I kind of wonder if they added that in because this whole like viral uh, news thing now with that alligator breaking into somebody's kitchen. Oh, right. I'm sure again that alligator broke through a window, but it had no idea what it was doing. It probably just kept bumping in until it found a weak spot and broke through. But it's not like it wanted to get in there. It, it probably just didn't even know what it was doing. There was like one well, scene where she found eggs. Yeah, I so. Mean, I don't, I don't. We, Again, we haven't seen the movie yet. Yeah. We don't know what exactly the story behind these eggs are. Maybe the nest was pre-existing and then it flooded. That's the only thing that would actually make sense. But the babies are going to be this big. I mean, they're not going to kill you. I mean, Well, it, it, what it seemed like is the alligators got into the house because of the hurricane and then decided to lay their eggs in the house. That makes absolutely zero sense. I mean, for one, when an alligator does construct a nest, it's out of leaves and debris, it'll be in an open area, and they don't nest underwater. The eggs will drown. So they will actually build this mound of leaves and debris. We actually just did a YouTube video on this, and they don't nest underneath the water. That makes absolutely zero sense. Again, we haven't seen the movie yet, just from the trailer though. It looks like they broke in the house and nested underneath the water. Well, the eggs are actually open. It looks like the eggs hatch. So she's like looking at them, she's like, oh, they hatch. So, but either way, the babies hatch out of the eggs six to eight inches long. So, I mean, what, they're gonna make a horror movie on killer baby alligators? I don't really know. Maybe they're gonna say the alligator behavior is because it's being maternal. Um, which, which does happen. I mean, alligators are one of the few reptiles that do have maternal care. They're yeah. really good mothers for the most part. Yeah, but they're not chasing people through a house because of it. Oh, here's one of my favorite things about this movie that is just absolutely ludicrous. They're in a basement I in think. Florida. <laughs> Those don't exist. 
I've lived in Florida my entire life. I've never seen a basement. I remember the first time I went up north. I'm like, oh, wow, this is so cool. You guys have basements? I've never seen one before. <laughs> the water table is just a couple feet underneath the ground here in Florida. You can't have a basement unless they are like way up in North Florida. And even then, I haven't heard of basements in North Florida. Maybe it's a thing, but it's definitely not a thing anywhere in South or Central Florida. Yeah. Um, so another thing just from the trailer that we've seen is all these people are getting attacked or bitten and there's just like so much blood. Like they make it seem like alligators have like shark teeth. So if you get bit by a shark, yeah, you're gonna probably bleed out depending on how severe the bite is. They have razor sharp teeth. But alligator teeth, they are not sharp, they're not pointy. Do you wanna talk about that more? Well, so the mechanics on an alligator, their teeth are actually relatively dull. And what they do is they use their dull teeth to bite into the flesh. And basically it acts like a fork, holds it in place. The immense amount of jaw pressure then breaks whatever bones are there. And then they do a death roll to now sever that piece of meat away from the rest of the body now that the bones are broken. So in effect, if an alligator doesn't death roll you and let's say it just bites you and then lets go, you're, you're pretty much fine. Yeah. I'm speaking from experience. I've been there. If it does happen to get a hold of you and let go and doesn't do a death roll and doesn't do a full on crank, you just get a couple puncture marks from those teeth. Really not that bad. I mean, I know a couple people have been bit in the face. I know multiple people bit in the face. You can't even tell because the teeth are relatively dull and it just kind of puts a puncture mark. And as long as the gator didn't death roll and didn't do a full on crush, they're okay. Yeah. So I don't know why the main actress, she's like using a tourniquet. I don't even know what she's tourniqueting, like her leg or her arm or whatever. But unless it death rolls and rips your body part art off, there's really not a reason for a tourniquet. We'll have to see. You yeah. know, I mean, there, there's no telling. We haven't seen the movie again, so we don't really know exactly. But just from the look of it, it looks as if the alligator barely gets her arm and then just shreds her to ribbons, which isn't really how that would work. Yeah. Um, now, I mean, granted, if he gets one big tooth in you and it tears down, yeah, maybe, but it's just the portrayal doesn't seem like what I've seen a, a lot of people who have alligator bites. It's not what I've seen it look like. Another thing, there's this guy in the trailer and he's like shining down in like a little, I guess, another basement in the basement. I don't really know. But then this like 30 foot alligator comes up and just bites him in the middle of the, of the ways and just like takes him down. Like how big are these alligators? <laughs> I mean, the largest alligator that I've seen in the wild was 13 feet. And even that for South Florida, that's like a massive alligator. That's like huge. Yeah, they you, don't... I mean, when you, when you look in the media, obviously the media is going to portray things, for one, exaggerated, but also for two, in extreme cases. You're not going to see the 8-foot alligator on the news usually. It's always like, oh, 13-foot gator this. And then people get the idea there's a lot of 13-foot gators out there. There aren't. Uh, maybe once upon a time there were, but due to humans killing everything big and impressive, unfortunately, there are not many large alligators out there. Now, when one of them does show up, it does make the news, and, uh, you know, that kind of creates this illusion that, oh, wow, they're out there. They are, but, again, it's pretty darn rare to see a large alligator. And a 12 or 13-foot gator to find in Florida is pretty special okay yeah. it's a pretty awesome thing when you see an alligator that large now to find one that's 15 feet which is the florida record that is unheard of other than that one individual it's incredibly rare to find any that large the supposed record for an alligator out of louisiana was 18 was it 18 something 18 8 i want to say 18 8 something like that but didn't they shoot it and measure it with like a, a gun? shotgun barrel yeah yeah so. so the story is the guy shot it killed it took a shotgun barrel and did one of these numbers down the back that's how he measured it Take that as you will. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. Either way, there are not gonna be 20 foot alligators roaming in the swamps out here. That is not realistic at all. So alligators typically don't see people as a food source. Like we were saying earlier, an alligator attack almost always occurs because people are feeding that alligator or because they're swimming in alligator habitat. But as far as an alligator looking, seeing an adult human walking upright and thinking, I wanna eat that guy, incredibly rare. These guys are opportunistic hunters. They like to eat small things, raccoons, turtles, fish, birds. Attacks some people, again, are so, so rare. They do like what is easy. I mean, a large alligator like this, we've seen this in some studies where a large gator will eat snails all day because snails are easy, they don't run. And so they'll just sit there and mop, mop, just eating the snails all day. And you'll see a full grown deer walk by. The gator doesn't even try. Could he? Absolutely. An alligator is fully capable of taking down an adult man, no problem, but they don't want to because it's a lot of work. It's just like you as a human. If you are walking by and you see a cow in the field, you can be like, oh man, I'm gonna go take that thing to the ground. I'm gonna kill it and I'm gonna eat it. 
No, you're going to go to the store and buy food like a normal person. And even hunters. How many hunters do you know are going out killing deer with their bare hands? No, they're shooting it with a gun because it's easy. Just like these guys. They don't want to go and get into a full-out physical fight, bare hand and teeth, with something that is as big as they are. That just isn't a good idea. So that's our analysis of the movie, guys. Now, I know everybody's thinking this gator's fake, right? It hasn't moved once, hasn't done anything. Let me just show you. This is a gator I've worked with for many years. I have him trained. He's doing what he's supposed to do. He's stationing. He's hanging out with us. Now, if I go up to him, though... <laughs> immediately goes to bite, okay? He is absolutely real, okay? All right, guys, that's our take on the trailer. Leave us a comment, let us know what you think. Like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment letting us know if you're gonna go see the movie, what you thought of the trailer, what questions you had, and then once we actually see the full movie, we'll have to do an update letting you know what we think.